Well, that was a good good meeting. I ask you to stay because I'm glad you brought up next year's budget. We've been losing people left and right, good people. I think what you're saying will save a lot of jobs. Oh thanks. I enjoyed that too. Not to sound all Christian and such, but it's so much better to reap a reward in actual people rather than just dollars. Yeah, no you're right. I mean community and sharing are really their own rewards. Hey did you check out that extra normal site that I sent you? Yeah, I did. Have you started using it? I haven't had a chance, I'm wondering what you think of it. Well, I think the first thing people should know is that it's not free. It's not? It looks like it's free to use. Yeah, it's deceiving in that way. It seems intentionally. Oh, definitely. Is it expensive? Whether it's expensive is dependent on your point of reference. If I were on a pretty strict budget, I wouldn't even think about using it. As it is, I make a shitload of money, but I still don't see the point in spending money on something that for the majority of people, is only going to be used, for making silly videos about yo mama fights and perverts in locker rooms. True, while those types of videos can be amusing, I personally enjoy seeing someone get pummeled in a good yo mama fight. Yeah, me too. I think the pervert stuff is funny too. In fact, I'm a great yo mama fighter. Well, back in the day I was. Now all these kids are jacked up on coke, sprite and slim jims and they've been yo mama-ing all their lives with their older brothers. Yet yeah, that's tough to compete with but so, is the feature set just not worth it, do you? Well, I'm sure the developers have worked hard on it, and I do like the possibilities. Yeah, well that alone isn't a reason to spend money on something, even if you would use it often. Exactly, even if you used it for commercial purposes. The fact is the users provide more benefit to the developers than otherwise. Oh, well... How do you reckon that, I mean the developers and the company deliver the product? I'm looking at it from the standpoint that it's not really a necessity item. In fact, not at all. Who really needs to make videos with a bunch of 3D retards? No one. Not a zilch. Exactly. But the developers of the concept want everyone to think that because you use something it's actually giving you value. Which simply isn't true. You can waste time in much more productive ways. When I get bored sometimes I do a few sets of push-ups, and maybe some sit-ups. Sure, and imagine if all of those people who might make a video, decided to do a few sets of push-ups instead. So, there's that, but also, what about going out and walking, riding a bike? Anyway, the point is that by using extra normal and publishing videos the user is actually giving the site and company exposure. Yeah, that's exposure that they desperately need. Of course they do. I mean without it they have no user base and no leverage. And no user base translates into a big fat zero. Is there any way that they could make the site free? I mean people, and even developers, do need to eat and want nice things, maybe advertising? Absolutely. I despise advertisement-based services, honestly. But with a video creation tool of this kind it would be absolutely simple and unobtrusive. And most of all natural. I'm really interested in what you're saying, but excuse me a moment. <laughs> wow, goddamn egg salad smells so good. Okay, so unobtrusive natural and with ads, sounds like you've been smoking a little too much of your jacket. How did you know that my jacket is made from hemp? Takes one to know one. Ha ha. Well, yeah. Imagine that you create a scene. Okay, I haven't used it yet, but I'll try to imagine this. Well, you get a choice of sets. Venues. Places where your scene will take place. And each set is a facsimile of real life. Okay. And in real life there are always items laying around or in the background that are manufactured by a company. Right, I went to my mother-in-law's house, and she had this all-natural peanut butter, and even though we didn't eat any peanut butter, I asked her about it, and now I buy it all the time for the kids and us. Right, so just the fact that there was a label on the item was the advertisement, which is also a reason why there are distinct labels on products, and why even though you bought a car, it still says Ford, Chevrolet, Honda, etc. on it. 
And hey, you just advertise some car companies in passing. How many soy lattes did you drink after that, train song? Drops of Jupiter, and how many five-hour phone conversations? Right, I'd never even heard of a soy latte before that song, and yeah, I used the phone a tad too much after that. You're not the only one. And hey, you advertised natural peanut butter. Which by the way is an important topic. No kidding, there's a lot of needless crap in the big name peanut butters. Who needs sugar in peanut butter? No fuck. That's actually fucking stupid. Since you can just add some honey to it and it's much, much better for you. My little fuck toy and I, we make our own peanut butter. Really? And ice cream. Ice cream too, I bet that's delicious. It is, it's a lot more work, but also way more worth it. Peanut butter, wow. Yeah, just buy some unroasted peanuts and roast them. Then put them in a food processor and process the living sheet out of them. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes until the nuts become oily. No need to add anything else. Just make sure to stop every 3 minutes or so and use a spoon to scrape the nuts that are on the sides into the middle. I was going to say speaking of oily nuts, but I won't, since it's a bit sophomoric. Peanut butter, it's really, that simple? Yeah, nothing to it. So, I was thinking that basically without the user base that extra normal has that have been making videos. Which previously were free in a lot of ways. They would have no way of garnering this kind of weight with other companies that are always looking for new ways to advertise their products. Yeah, that's so true advertising twats are always looking for the next new gimmick. So, by asking for the users to pay, they are actually screwing them. Well maybe not screwing them. Not yet. But in the near future, you can bet that Extra Normal will be implementing the model that I'm talking about, and they'll be making money, hand over fist. Whatever that means. And they'll be charging people for something that really should, and, most importantly, could be free. It might actually be more important to say, should be free. Since, when you think about it, it is definitely not a necessity. Right again, who really needs to be making those kinds of vids? No one. But rest assured they will have a user base that supports them somewhat. People who don't really realize that they are being more service than the service they are using. Yeah. In other words, morons. So what about a scene like this, where there really isn't much commercial in the background? Well, take that laptop over there at the end of the conference table. Sure, that could be an Apple laptop or something. Well, wouldn't that be fitting, since Mac users love to spend money on useless piles of feces? Ha ha true, maybe it's a Dell laptop then. Dells kick Apple's ass, but well, it wouldn't matter. As long as someone sees it, and they would. They couldn't miss it. That's totally, balls, on my friend. So in that scenario, the company is getting advertising, that doesn't seem like advertising, and that would translate into people actually watching those ads. God damn, that translates into a great advertisement. Right. For any company. I mean near the coffee pot behind me, could be some brand of coffee. And donuts. Sure, fat people love donuts, and you could even give the user an option as to which items to have in the scene. I tried using a donut as a cock ring once, but it failed, but what about a scene, where there would be no items, like that? Like some of those, queer little kid scenarios, they have. Those are so queer, no one watches them, or really wants to make them anyway. But mostly, do you really want to advertise to little kids like that? No, that's evil. Exactly. Parents have enough to worry about without their little brats clamoring for the latest piece of shit toy. True so what about all those people who have extra normal videos on YouTube, did they pay to make them? I suppose some of them did. But from what I ascertain most were made before extra normal started charging for everything. I mean it's not like these videos will wipe your ass blow you, or shave your pubics. That might be next. I'd be willing to pay for it, if it would lick my wife's ass, I don't like it, when she puts me on that, detail. I rather enjoy it, when my fuck toy wants some extra loving, down, there, but anyway, how long did it take you to find out that extra normal existed? Well, it's been like three years since they started. That's partially because they are marketing morons, 
but also probably because they want to manage their server loads. But still, I've been on YouTube since the fucking 80s. And the 80s? Bear with me. It's a bit of an exaggeration. Since it's YouTube's inception and almost daily, and you mentioning extra normal to me was the first time I'd heard or seen it. And imagine people in foreign countries. A high lad. It's got potential. But they need to shit and a few douchebags. Speaking of server loads, I need to get to the can and lay some cable pretty quick. Yeah, I have to piss like a racehorse myself. <laughs>